cooking with Gaspar. I will do today a chicken thigh with uh, uh, baby potato on some vegetable. So let me just show you what I did so far. I marinated my chicken thighs. So I marinate my chicken, chicken thighs. Check, take it out from the refrigeration. I marinated about two hours. And the marinade is from fresh herbs, basil, thyme, fresh garlic, chopped, um, spices like um, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, mix it all together. So I marinate it. So what I do now, I will put it in roasting pan. And I will roast it. It's four pieces. So I put that marinade on top. And here, what I, oh, I'm sorry. Here, what I have, I have a little carrot here. I don't want to cut it. I just leave it like that. And then I have my potato, little potatoes, little young potatoes. I peel it up. Some of them you can, I'll show you how I did it. If you have potato, you cut it off here on the end, the other end, and then you just go in the middle. Look much nicer. So you have a little potato like that. I did it almost all. Some of them I don't need, but it's okay. I have some celery. I have some young onion. In addition, I put a couple of whole garlic. And what I do now, you put it in oven for 375, about an hour. So we need olive oil. First of all, I need to spice that. So put salt over the vegetable. You can use any vegetable. You can have only one if you want. Okay. And we put it in, in the preheated oven on 375 for about one hour. I put it in now. As you can see it, one more time. So I'll be right back. So I'm checking my chicken in oven. Oh, they're coming nice. Mm -hmm. A little bit more and we'll be done. Good. I'm checking on my chicken. Chicken in a vegetable. So they look good. Almost done. Let me just give you a little advice here. It's a Pyrex uh, roasting pan. Um, it's basically uh, not an aluminum thing or, you know, it's Pyrex. But the most thing what I want to tell you, that when you take it out and you think so, you need water or something, anything you roast, don't ever put water inside because there will be everything break on pieces. So make sure that before you roast it, add water how much you need and put it back to oven. So no water to be added in the process of cooking because you will have a surprise. Okay, one hour has passed. 
I am taking out my dish from the oven. Wow, look at that. Perfectly done. So, what we did need to do now, we just have to serve. Okay, we're serving the dish. I cut a little bit carrot. I have the potato here. Um, what else we have? A little celery we have too. Yeah. Okay, so I make a dish now with the potatoes. Make sure I put it inside in. Okay. They look good. We need a little carrot. Carrot. We have a little celery too. So we put the celery here too. And um, we have a garlic too, whole garlic. So I take one. And also you have the onion, the white onion. Put it on the top. All right, so then you have that one on the garlic. So every, every ingredient what we have, we have it in, on the plate. So I use on a smaller one, chicken, chicken thigh. I add a little bit. The garnish, to bed I have no flowers. Do a little juice on, on the chicken, just a little bit to glaze it up. So that's my final dish. Hopefully you enjoy my recipe. I'll see you next time.